Let's begin in mountain pose. Hands together above the heart, a slight bow in the head. Find a slow, calming breath as you feel your feet ground into the mat. Your energy rises up the legs, navel tucking in and up, chest is lifted, and it circles over you, drawing the back of your neck long, down your spine, pelvis neutral, and back down to your heels. From here, I want you to think of something that you like about yourself, as you are right now. Think of all aspects of yourself, avoiding focusing on things that need improvement. What do you like about yourself? On an inhale, raise the arms up overhead, then folding from the hips to a forward fold, bending the knees as much as you want to. You can hold on to the earth or clasp your elbows and sway from side to side. Now think of something that you've done that you're really proud of, anything, big or small. On an inhale, rising to halfway lift, flat back, keeping your hands on your shins or thighs, avoiding putting pressure on your knees. Exhale, returning to forward fold. Then on an inhale to chair pose, grounding through the heels for balance, gazing forward, or if your neck allows, up towards your hands. Exhale to standing, hands to heart. Step your right foot back, keeping the feet hip distance apart. Clasp your hands behind your back and fold from the hips as low as your body allows while maintaining balance to an intense side stretch, raising the arms up above you. Get strong through the legs as you rise up to standing. Keeping your hands as they are, change your feet positions to repeat on the other side. As you hold this position, keeping your breath steady, think of a time that you reacted appropriately to something very difficult. Take your time returning to standing, stepping to the front of your mat and releasing your hands. Inhale, arms up, and exhale to a forward fold. Bend your knees as needed to position your palms flat on the mat. Then turn your palms facing up and step onto them with your feet to a gorilla pose, toes pressing against the insides of your wrists. Releasing your hands, palms flat, step back to a plank and carefully lower down to your belly. Press up to baby cobra or cobra, straightening out the arms if and when it feels good. Exhale as you lower your chest and rest your head on your right arm. Bend your left leg, grasping the foot and holding it in as close to your hip as you comfortably can, 
while trying to keep the left knee down on the mat. Think of a time that you completed a selfless act for someone else. Take your time transitioning to practice this hold on the opposite side as you think of a place that makes you happy. Release the leg, resting on your belly with your arms at your sides. Turn your palms to face up. Big inhale, then on the exhale, lifting your shoulders, chest, and legs to a locust pose. Exhale as you lower. Then rising to Sphinx Pose, forearms flat, elbows under the shoulders, palms down. Stay long through the neck and gaze forward. Lowering the chest, press back to Child's Pose and think of a person who makes you happy. Now, imagine a loving act that you would like to do for that person. Make your way to table position, lining your wrists up under your shoulders, knees under your hips, as you begin to flow through cat-cow, following the pattern of your breath, or holding each position as long as your body needs it. Keep your fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing into the mat to relieve pressure from the wrists, and make sure the tops of your feet are connected to the mat, pressing down lightly to take some pressure away from the knees. Toes should be pointing straight back and not in towards each other. Begin to move side to side, swaying your hips back and forth, matching sides with your upper body looking over your shoulder. Next, going into circular motions, up, down, and around. Returning to table, 
lower onto your forearms. Then stretch your arms out ahead of you as you lower your heart to the earth in puppy pose. If there's something that has been weighing on you, think of how you might be able to let it go. If you can't, is there humor in it or a way to put a positive spin on what it might be? Staying low, needle your right arm under your left, twisting in the upper body, resting on your shoulder and the right side of your head. Untwist, then needling through to the other side. Coming out of your puppy twist, keep your hips elevated and bring your forearms down to the mat. Curl your toes under, then pressing firmly through your forearms, raise the knees and hips to dolphin, staying strong through the shoulders. Gently lower to table position, firming up through the core as you extend your right arm and left leg to hold. Think of a goal that you've been meaning to achieve that you haven't yet and reflect upon how you can make it happen. Return to table, staying firm through the core, and repeat on the other side. Is there something that's been holding you back from realizing a goal, a dream, or true happiness that isn't serving you anymore? Are you afraid to let it go? How can you change its effect on you? Lower to table. Curl the toes under and press up and back to downward facing dog, walking the heels out as much as you want to to find length through the back of the legs before coming to stillness. Reach your left hand to your right ankle or leg, getting deep into the twist looking beneath you towards the right. Release and repeat on the other side. Release, returning to downward facing dog then stepping your right foot up between your hands, plant your left palm down as you raise your right hand and gaze. Is there something you've been wanting to do purely for yourself but haven't yet? Maybe fearing how others may view you or thinking it may be selfish. Reflect on what might be holding you back. Lower the right hand and take your time shifting your back foot to connect to the mat, toes pointing slightly out, making your way to warrior one. Shoulders squared to the short edge of the mat, hips to follow without straining the back knee. Bend in the right leg, keeping the right knee in line with your toes pointing forward. 
opening up to warrior two, shoulders facing the long edge of your mat, chest lifted, hips in line with each other, making sure your right knee did not turn in. Stay long through the neck as you gaze over your right hand. Two extended side angle, left arm reaching up and over. Then inhale to reverse warrior, right arm up, gaze follows. Straightening out the front leg, reach the right arm forward, then hinge to triangle pose. Gaze to the side or up towards your left hand. Lower the left hand and knee to the mat, coming into a low lunge, inhaling the arms up overhead and exhaling as you sink into the hips. On an exhale, twist to the right. Return your hands to either side of the front foot, curl the back toes under, and press back to downward facing dog. Let out a deep exhale as you reflect upon what you see as your greatest value. Gazing forward, step your left foot between your hands. Plant the right palm and lift your left hand and gaze. Lower the hand and shift your back foot Coming up to Warrior One. And opening up to Warrior Two. Extended side angle. To reverse warrior. Straightening out the front leg and making your way to triangle. Coming down to a low lunge, resting the back knee and top of the foot down on the mat as you inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale, sink deep into the hips. On an exhale, twisting to the left.
untwist, hands to either side of the front foot, curl the back toes under, stepping back to plank, then lowering the knees and making your way to child's pose. From here, I want you to think about the things that cheer you up the most when you're down. Take your time coming through table and making your way to downward facing dog. On an exhale, hinging forward to plank and then inhaling back to downward facing dog, repeating this flow four more times. From downward facing dog, begin walking your feet to the front of your mat to a forward fold, bending your knees as much as you want to, clasping at the elbows, and swaying a little from side to side. Exhale, release the hands, then inhale to chair pose. to mountain pose, hands to heart. Moving into tree pose on the right side, place the sole of the right foot along the inside edge of your left leg, either with your toes touching down for balance, or floating the foot to the lower leg or inner thigh, making sure to stay off the knee. Press your foot into your leg, leg back into the foot, finding that midline of the body. Engage your core, lift the chest, and draw the shoulders down and back. Release with control and repeat on the other side. Now reflect, what are the things that fulfill you the most? Are you doing them enough? Be honest with yourself. Release tree pose with control, returning to mountain. Finding balance on your left foot, hinge to warrior three, sending the right leg back, toes pointing down to aid you in keeping your hips squared to the earth. Hold briefly, then step back to warrior one for a breath, lifting off to return to warrior three. Repeat this flow for a total of three times on each side.
taking your time to find balance as you transition over to the right side. After the final warrior one, returning to mountain pose and slowing down your breath. Begin to raise your heels as you bend through the knees and hips, lowering to a toe stand. You can bring your hands down to the mat on either side of you for balance, or keep your hands together at your heart. Make your way to seated with your legs extended out front. Draw your left leg in, knee pointing up. Hug that leg with your right arm, twisting as you bring your left hand behind you, keeping it close to the body to help you sit up tall. Stay long through the neck as you gaze back over your left shoulder. Keep the right leg engaged, foot flexed. Untwist and release. Then repeat on the other side, remembering to control your breath. Release the twist, legs together with both feet flexed. Inhale your arms up overhead and hold, staying long through the back and neck. On an exhale, Draw the navel down, folding forward, reaching for your toes, ankles, or legs. Ask yourself, are you proud of how you spend your time? If not, think of ways that you might be able to change that. Coming back up, bring the soles of your feet together to a seated bound angle pose. Hold on to your feet or ankles and sit up tall as you draw your knees down. Think about what qualities do you wish you had but feel that you don't. Is there any way for you to work on those? Draw your knees up, 
bringing them together and give yourself a hug, rounding out the back, widening the shoulder blades. Take your time making your way down onto your back, knees bent and pointing up. With your arms at your sides, squeeze your core, glutes and legs and raise your hips to bridge pose. To go a little deeper, you can draw your shoulder blades together and clasp your hands beneath you, raising your hips a little further. Maintain a strong and steady breath. Release the shoulders if they're together and lower down to the mat. Draw your left knee in towards your chest, extending the right leg straight out. If you can, pull your head up, bringing your nose towards your knee, tucking the chin down. Repeat on the other side. Then tucking both knees in, keeping your head up, nodding the chin down, or if you need to, lowering your head back down to the mat. Release, lowering your feet to the mat, knees pointing up. Draw your left leg straight up, holding onto the foot or big toe, and keeping as little bend in the knee as possible as you draw the leg in toward you. Placing the left foot over the right leg and pulling the right leg in to reclined pigeon pose. Untwist the legs, extending the right, and holding on to the left knee as you guide it over to the right side, keeping both of your shoulders down on the mat. You can extend your left arm out and gaze over your shoulder. Return to your back, both knees bent and up. Draw your right leg straight up, gently pulling it in toward you. to reclined pigeon pose.
then releasing the legs to a reclined twist. Return to your back, both knees bent and up. Bring both legs straight up and allow them to just hang there, semi-relaxed without focusing on flexing your feet or pointing your toes. If you are near a wall, feel free to use it for legs up the wall pose. Think of the next year of your life. What are three things that you would like to accomplish in that time? Bend your knees and guide them with your hands at arm's length through half circles away from you. Lower your feet to the mat, keeping them close to your hips. Draw the soles of your feet together, releasing your knees down to either side in a reclined bound angle pose. Bring your left hand to your belly and right hand to your heart. Then think about three things that you love about yourself. Of those three things you love about yourself, choose the one that stands out the most and make it your point of focus as we transition to Savasana. Lengthen out your legs and release your arms to your sides, palms facing up. Take up some room on your mat. Loosen up by moving your joints and bring tension to your muscles and then release it completely. Allow your body to relax as much as possible as you sink into your mat. Release your shoulders and soften your neck and face. Slow down your breath, taking in long inhales and exhales as you turn your focus to you.
Begin to wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and toes, flexing your feet and making fists with your hands. Pull your arms up overhead and reach as long as you can through the legs, stretching the body as much as you can. Then in any way that you prefer, take your time transitioning to an easy pose with your hands on your knees. Stay in easy pose for as long as needed before coming to standing. Think about taking charge of your own happiness. Be kind to yourself and love yourself. <laughs>